get to the other game, um, Diddy. It looks like you're up next. Sure. Kansas State, Missouri. Talk to me. Yeah, man. This is a, a, a game that I'm really looking at closely. I like this Kansas State team. Um, I, I'm really tailing them uh, for a few games. Uh, they always seem to have a, a hiccup or, or uh, issue midway through the season, but usually early on they kind of take take advantage of some of those teams that they play. I think this is one of them. Um, I know this is a away game. Uh, this is uh, last year. I think they smacked the mess out of Missouri, so you might want to see Missouri. You might think Missouri is going to have a, uh, a, a revenge mindset coming into this game, especially at home. I just think Missouri's offense is just not w- what they are used to being, like kind of high flying, spread offense, being able to push the ball down the field and pressure some of these SEC teams. They're not that way this year. I think they're ranked 80th right now, uh, total offense. Um, you're looking at a Kansas State team that's in the top 20 offense. They're moving the ball. They're very confident. Their front seven defensively is stout, um, which means they can they can hold teams to possessions offensively. And I think they'll do that again this week. Um to Missouri. My only caveat is that I think the line opened up at six and it dropped to four and a half. So I wonder why that is. I've been looking at injury report, been trying to figure that out, but I'm still confident in Kansas State here. Um, I'll buy a point to get it to about three, uh, maybe a point and a half. But if I can wait to that line, if it drops again, maybe I can get it to three or, or under three. But I do like them. Um, over the last few weeks, they've averaged 40 points for Kansas State. Defense is stout, like I said. Um, they're just the more physical team. We all know Kansas State and that coach over there. Always has this team playing really physical in Kansas State. And I think Missouri is just not there right now. They had lackluster victories against Middle Tennessee State, along with South Dakota. Just didn't look good when I seen them play for the brief moment that I did see them when I was flashing through the television. So give me Kansas State. I like. I don't mind the four and a half. I'm going to buy a point just to get under a little bit just in case some funky stuff happens. But give me Kansas State. This is one of my locks of the week. So... Um... Listening to the handicap, why just the point where you see the because I think you start to get value. To that, I think you get into that juice. I know that doesn't make sense that they're going to three and a half, right? Yeah. I think if you're in that if you're in that four and a half soft zone between three and a half or three and five, and then I think you're still safe. Like I said, I think you're safe at the four and a half. Yeah, it's just one of them things I just like to do sometimes just to buy a point just in case because some crazy stuff happens all the time in college football. Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. Well, you know, the one thing that um, about that game is what's so weird about Missouri, I've watched them a little bit, is they have talent. Like, their receivers are Mookie Cooper. He transferred from Ohio State. He can play. They have Theo Weiss. He transferred him from OU. They can play. They have Luther Burden. He's going to be a top 50 pick someday. He can play. He was a five-star high school recruit. You're talking about on Missouri, right? Missouri. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. yeah. I don't, their, yeah. their offensive numbers, like when I look at their talent and then I look at their performances so far, there's a disconnect between the play caller and the quarterback. Yeah. The, co- the play caller is not calling the plays that the quarterback is seeing or the quarterback just doesn't have any faith in the plays and he's doing his own thing because there's just something is off. There were, I, I see separation when I watched, especially last week, and the ball just wasn't there. And it wasn't because there was guys in the backfield left and right. So – I could see, yeah, I don't have much of a feel for this game, but there's something wrong with Missouri. They could have a, they might have a really, you might, this might be a really good bet solely on coaching staffs. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Coach is going to have Kansas, Kansas State don't, we don't weaver at all. Yeah. They, the only time they lose is because they're just not a good, they're just not a better they team than the other They opponent. won't beat themselves. They They'll won't beat themselves. Absolutely. Yep. That's exactly what happened. So I'm going to have my faith in Kansas State. Um, like that's back to back weeks with Kansas, Kansas State's. Uh, bets with Kansas last week, and I'm going to file Kansas State this weekend. We're going to make that money, man. Yes, sir. As we always do. My bad, I hit the wrong button, fell off. <laughs> Diddy, you've become basically our Big 12 guru. You're betting all the Kansas teams, and then Colorado's coming in next year. That's your, you, you're our Big 12 guru. Yeah. It's a big, <laughs> big yeah. <compliment. laughs>